Got a whole bunch of ice up there. Doesn't look like we're uh, overflowing, huh? Yeah, the evaporator's got a lot of a lot of frost on it, though. So, I wonder if this thing can frost a little more than what it usually does. Waiting on refrigeration coils to defrost is time consuming, so you find yourself doing things that are stupid, like seeing how far you can look down the drain pan underneath the edge of the evaporator panel and look for drips. Stupid stuff when you're bored. There's one. I think it's about done. And check that out, dudes. Looks like a freaking hairnet, doesn't it? I don't exactly know what this thing is, but I'm being careful not to beat it too hard. But whatever it is, I don't think it needs to be covered in ice like that. What the hell is this thing? Mist. Huh. Hmm. Interesting, huh? Uh, so this one's got a bad sensor. I'm measuring like 16 or 17 degrees here, and my controller is measuring over here 31, and that's why I'm alarming. So I got another uh, sensor, actually uh, right there, that green one, and I'm gonna install it. I wasn't able. I wasn't able to get it earlier, but this wasn't even going down below 26 or 24. This was actually showing 31 when I looked at this, but on the uh, controller E2 a little bit ago, it wasn't getting down below 26. Looks like it's going down pretty good now. So here we go. So I just kind of put it in there for now to make sure it was going to, uh, you know, show me a good readout before I actually swapped it out. hand on it it should uh when I go in there and look it should that uh, display on there should go up from 12 it said 12 a minute ago I'll probably go get a, a tie strap and, and strap it up like it was 
I don't see nothing wrong with that. It's freaking cold in here, man. I think this is a cheap design right here, if you ask me. Uh, my temperature went up because I put my hand on it. So I like that. So I'll keep an eye on it as I uh, wrap everything up and wrap my ticket. All right, let's see it here. We're working on 810 right there. Let's look at the log. All right, so look. This whole time it was running. I didn't turn it off, but it went back up to 28 and it dropped down to 21.99, 19.99. And so I got to just cut in here and override that guy that was talking the other day. Luckily, I was able to find this sensor that was bad because it was giving me hell. I could not figure out why it would not get down to temperature. But then when I saw that the temperature started going back up and the door hadn't opened, and the cooler hadn't gone into defrost or done anything, freezer, excuse me. You know, that that was a good sign. You know, replace the sensor, then everything started going down, and it was a good day from there. And I was not able to figure out why we had so much ice buildup, unfortunately. Not much to this video, just wanted to upload it because I was going through my photos and my videos and about to erase them so I have more room on my phone, so I can make more. So thanks for watching, and I will uh, check you guys later. Peace.